वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स अवर टॉपिक इज मेट्रिक्स वॉट इज अ मेट्रिक्स द मैथमेटिकल डिफिनेशन इज इट इज एन ऑर्डर्ड आई एम राइटिंग द टर्म्स इट इज एन ऑर्डर्ड रेक्टेंगुलर अरे इट्स ऑर्डर्ड रेक्टेंगुलर अरे ऑफ नंबर्स नंबर्स और फंक्शंस okay so this is the mathematical definition a matrix is an ordered rectangular array of numbers or functions what is the meaning of this let's say i'm writing simultaneous equations of uh, you know with three variables let's say a11 x plus a12 y plus a13 z is equal to d1 then a21 x so we have three equations we have three variables x y and z and we represent these simultaneous equations like this we can represent it in a more uh, you know uh, ordered way by use of a matrix and by the mathematics of matrix we can solve this equation also very in a very neat and clean way so how do we represent this as a matrix you just note this down so what we do we say that let a matrix a be like this where we have all the coefficients of x y and z so this is a11 a12 a13 that is the coefficients of the first row then the second row is a21 a22 a23 and the third row is a31 a32 a33 so if we represent it like this it becomes very neat and clean we can directly see what is the coefficient of the no of y in the second row in the second equation it is a22 so this is a way to represent it and we use this capital bracket this is the sign of a capital bracket so this is now a matrix i'll tell you what is the use first of all let's understand how we represent it so this is clear i'm rubbing it so instead of those three simultaneous equations we can simply write this what we wrote just now a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 this is our variables x y z and this is in the right hand side it was d1 d2 d3 so that simultaneous that set of three simultaneous equations can be represented in matrix form like this this is a matrix which represents the variable this is a matrix which represents the Uh, coefficients in the rhs and, and this is the matrix that represents the coefficients of the variable x y z how this is uh, you know processed that is our subject of study that will no later for for now you should understand that this is how we represent matrix okay now from this only you can see that this has got so many rows so many columns but this has only one column this also has only one column but all of them have three rows so what i am trying to do i am trying to introduce you the terminologies this this is called a row okay so here also we have one row two row three row one row two row three row and this is called columns we have one two three columns in this matrix we have only one column in this matrix and one column in this matrix clear what we do the number of rows we write as m and number of columns we write as n and we say that the matrix is m cross n matrix which is called the order of the matrix clear now i am introducing a new term order of the matrix the order of a matrix is m cross n 
where n is the number of rows and n is the number of columns. So this is a 3 cross 3 matrix. This is 3 cross 1 matrix. This is also 3 cross 1 matrix. Let's say we want to see a 1 cross 3 matrix. 1 cross 3. This will be um, A, B, C. This is 1 row but 3 columns. 1, 2, 3. So this is the order of the matrix. This is called row. This is called column and the individual entities that you see, they are called elements, elements of the matrix. Clear? These all are elements. This, 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 this. Every entity inside the matrix is an element of the matrix. Now, this is called a diagonal. Diagonal of the matrix. A11, A22, A23. This is the diagonal of the matrix. What is the we will be seeing later on. Clear? Till now? If you have any confusion or if you have any objection, anything in your mind, do write in the comment box. I will certainly reply to them. Okay. We also write metrics like this. A, I, J. This is also how we denote a matrix. A matrix A can be written as A, I, J, where I is the number of rows and j is the number of columns. So, I will lie between 1 to m because we have m cross n matrix. So, the number of rows can be at the most m and j lies between 1 and n. Clear? So, this is also a representation of matrix. Now, let us see the type of matrices. We have several types of matrices. So, types of matrices. This is our topic. First is called a row matrix. What is a row matrix? In our A, I, J, this is row. So, we will have only one row. That is A, 1, J. If we have matrix like this, A is equal to this, then it is a row matrix. That is, we only have one row. A, B, C, whatever be the number of columns. We have only a single row that is called a row matrix. Similarly, we have a column matrix that is we only have one column. We saw two column matrices in the last example. So, column matrix will be like A, J, 1. Not J, we denote it as I. So, A, I, 1. So that is the number of columns is 1. Like we saw X, Y, Z or we saw D1, D2 d3 let's say 7 8 9 so these are column matrices clear then third is called square matrix what is a square when the number of sides of a rectangle number of side no when all the sides of a rectangle are equal that is a square matrix similarly if m is if not if when m is equal to n we say it's a square matrix. That is, we have 3 cross 3 matrix. We have 2 cross 2 matrix. If we say 1, 3, 5, 7, this is a square matrix. Or 3, 1, 4, 6, 6, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1. So, this is a square matrix. 3, 3 cross 3. Clear? Then we have a matrix called diagonal matrix. See, diagonal matrix. From the name only, it is clear that it has something to do with the diagonal only. So, when all the non-diagonal elements are 0, it is a diagonal matrix. For, let's for example take 2 cross 2 matrix. Let's say this is 2 and the, this element is 3 and this is 0, this is 0. That is we have non-zero elements only on the diagonal. Others are 0. For example, I am taking a 4 cross 4 matrix. 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 6, 9. So, this is a diagonal matrix. We have non-zero elements only on the diagonal. And one more thing to remember here is that it diagonal matrix, we get diagonal matrix only in case of square matrix. 
Clear? If you have a column matrix, you won't get a diagonal matrix. Only when we have a square matrix and all the non-diagonal elements are zero, we call it a diagonal matrix. Clear? Now, within this matrix, that is diagonal matrix, if all the diagonal elements are same, that is, let's say if this was all the elements were 2, 2, 2, 2, or here we had 3, 3. So, this is a diagonal matrix. First of all, it is a square matrix. Both of them, they are a square matrix. All the non-diagonal uh, elements are 0. And the diagonal elements are of the same magnitude. They are equal. That is 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, whatever it be. That's not 6, this is 0. Okay. Then, in that case, we call that matrix as scalar mat matrix. So, this is our fifth type. Clear? Very simple. Now we will see our sixth type that is called identity matrix. It is a scalar matrix in which all the diagonal elements are equal to 1. So this is our sixth one identity matrix. Identity matrix. So what is it? It is a scalar matrix. Scalar matrix. This means this is a diagonal matrix. And this means this is a square matrix. So, if all the diagonal elements are equal to 1, this is called an identity matrix. So, it is a square matrix. All the non-diagonal elements are 0. Therefore, and all the diagonal elements are same. So, it is scalar. And when all these elements are 1, it is identity matrix. So, in an identity matrix, what you will see? You will see all the diagonal elements are equal to 1 and all non-diagonal elements are 0. So, let us say for 2 by 2, this will be like this. For 4 by 4, it will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So, this is 4 cross 4 identity matrix. Clear? Now, seventh type is called zero matrix. Zero matrix, or it is also called null matrix. Null matrix. If all the elements are zero, that is a zero matrix. For example, 0, 0, 0, 0. It is a zero matrix. Clear? Or single zero, or two zeros. So, whatever it be, if all the elements are zero, that is a zero matrix. Okay. We will see one more matrix. The eighth one. That you won't find in your elementary book. Elementary textbook. But uh, if you go some, you know, a bit beyond your textbook, you will find one more matrix that is called sub matrix. A sub matrix is found by omitting a few columns or a few rows or both. Okay. So, what I mean by saying, if this is A, B, C, X, Y, Z, K, L, P. Let's say we have this as a matrix. Okay, let this be matrix A. If we omit column 1, what we will get? We will get B, C, Y, Z, L, P. So, this is also a matrix. Let's say this is B. Then, B is a sub matrix of A. Okay. Or we can get, uh, you know, omit this last row. What we will get? A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Let's say this is matrix X. So this matrix is also a sub matrix of this. Let's say we have matrix B, C. Let's say this is Z matrix. Z matrix is a sub matrix of B, and it is also a sub matrix of A. We have omitted column 1 and we have omitted row 2 and row 3. We get this. So, this is sub matrix. Okay. And every matrix is a sub matrix of itself. How? By omitting no rows, no columns. So, if we don't omit any row or column, we get A and that is every matrix is a sub matrix of its own. Clear? So, now we have 
seen you know different types of matrices now we'll start operations on matrices so as you can see our topic is equality of matrices we have seen the definition of matrix we have seen different types of matrices so equality of matrices what is the meaning of equality of matrices is a equal to b this is the meaning are two matrices equal when can we say that two matrices are equal so there are two conditions i want no waste time without wasting time let's come to the definition part two matrices are equal if and only if the we denote it like this if and only if first they are of the same size that is they are they are of the same order they are of the same order and that is let's say both are of n cross root n order and second if a is denoted like this ij and b is b ij then, then each element of a each element of a is equal to the corresponding element corresponding element of b what is the meaning of this from here i would say i a i j is b i so b i j what is the meaning corresponding element of b that is let's say our a b c d this is first matrix and x y p q this is second element the second matrix this is matrix a this is matrix b First of all, both are of the same same order. Two plus two, two plus two. First condition is met. Second, each element of K. How many elements are there in here? Four. One, two, three, four. Each element of K is equal to the corresponding element of B. Corresponding element of B. It does not mean that A is equal to Q. This is the first element of first row and first column. So. This should be equal to the first element of first row and first column. That is, A should be equal to X, B should be equal to Y, C should be equal to P, and D should be equal to Q. This is the second condition. If this is the case, the second condition is also met. Therefore, if two matrices are of the same order and each element is equal to the corresponding element of the second element, sorry, matrix, second matrix. Then the two matrices uh, are called equal. Here, very simple definition. So, so let's see this example to understand the meaning of equality of matrices. The question is that this matrix is equal to this matrix. This is given in the question. So, it's a, what we have to find is the value of x, z, y, a, b. These are the variables. I told you two sets are equal only if and only they are of the same order. This is three cross three matrix. This is also three cross three matrix. First condition is met. Second, each element of set one is equal to the corresponding element of set B. So from here, what we can see that x plus three is equal to this. That is zero. What we get? We get x is equal to minus three. I am writing it here. X is equal to minus three. Z plus four. This is first row, second column. First row, second column. Minus six. So Z plus four is equal to minus six. What we get? Z is minus four minus six. That is Z is minus ten. So from here we get Z is minus ten. Then, see here. Third column, first row. Third column, first row. Put we get two y minus seven is equal to three y minus two. 
so let's rearrange i'm taking y to this side and um, the number to the, the other side so this will be 3y minus 2y this is plus here so the here minus and this side what we'll get minus 7 plus 2 clear so this is y this is minus 5 so from here we get y is equal to minus 5 then we have a minus 1 here that is the second row second column there we have minus 3 so obviously if the two matrices are equal this is equal to this so a minus 1 is equal to minus 3 so a is what this goes to this side plus so this is minus 2 so a is our minus 2 then b where is b okay we also have c so c is here 0 is equal to 2c plus 2 2c plus 2 is equal to 0 see second row third column second row third column so 0 is equal to 2c plus 2 what is this here it will go 2c is equal to minus 2 c is minus 2 by 2 that is minus 1 so c is minus 1 then we have b here see so b minus 3 is equal to 2b plus 4 this side it goes we will have 2b minus b is equal to minus 3 minus 4 clear minus 3 minus 4 to b minus b so b is equal to b is equal to minus 7 so we have b equal to minus 7 so we have found the value of the variables for x y z b c equal to these values the two uh, matrices will be equal and since we have been given that the matrices are equal we have equated them clear so we have two more examples it says these sets are equal so find the value of a b c d since these two matrices are equal obviously this will be equal to this this will be equal to this this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this clear So, 2a plus b is equal to 4 and a minus 2b is equal to minus 3. So, what I am doing, let us multiply this by 2 so that when we add, this will become 0. So, multiplying this by 2 is like this. What can we write? We will have 4a 2 into 2 plus 2b is equal to 8 now let us add these two so this is 4a plus a 5a and 2b minus 2b 0 this is 8 minus 3 5 from here what we get a is equal to 1 so we have got our first result a is equal to 1 you can see from any of the two equations we can get the value of a uh, sorry b here what we have 2b is equal to a plus 3 a plus 3 2b and what is a? a is 1 so 1 plus 3 4 so b is equal to 4 by 2 that is 2 so the value of b is 2 we have got the values of a and b now let us see the second row 5c 5c minus d is equal to 11 and 4c plus 3d See, 4c plus 3d is 24. So, again, this is 3d. We will multiply this by 3. Both side, when you multiply, you have to multiply both side, LHS as well as RHS, so that 3, 3 cancels. This is 15c minus 3d. 15c minus 3d equal to 33. So, let us add the 2. 15 plus 4, 15 plus 4. We are adding the 2. So, this is 19c, this 3d minus 3d gone. So, 33 plus 24, what is it? 7 and 5. c is 3. 57 by 19, we will get c equal to 3. So, c is our 3. Then, from any of the equations, we you put the value of c, let us say this one 3d is equal to 24 minus 4c. 
that is 24 minus 4 cross C, what is C? 3, 12. So, 24 minus 12, 12. D, 3D is 12. So, D is 12 by 3, that is 4. So, we have got our result. Clear? We have solved this uh, question. Now, let us see second question. So, the f from first equation, what we get? Actually, if you look at this uh, question, this is very easy to put values because this is 0. So, from here what we will get? 2a minus b is equal to 0. This means 2a is equal to b. This is very handy. Now, let us see the first one. a minus b. a minus b is equal to minus 1. We know the value of b. Okay. So, a minus b and b is 2a is equal to minus 1. So, this is minus a is equal to minus 1. So, a is equal to 1. A is equal to 1, then B is equal to what is B? So, A is equal to 1. From here, what we get? B equal to 2 cross 1, that is 2. So, I am writing the values here. A is 1, B is 2. Now, we have to find the values of C and D also. 2A plus C is 5. 2A plus C is 5. We have the value of A, this is 1. So, this is 2 plus C equal to 5. This is C equal to 5 minus 2, that is 3. So, C is 3. Then finally, we have this one. 3C plus D equal to 13. 3C plus D is equal to 13. C is 3. So, this is 3 cross 3. 9 plus D is equal to 13. What do we get? D is 13 minus 9, that is 4. So, we have A equal to 1, B equal to 2, C equal to 3, D equal to 4. So, we have solved the question. So, this is the meaning of equality of matrices. On the basis of that, we can solve any question. Clear?